today we're going to talk about staying positive and uh, things you can kind of do with all this madness going on. So stick around. Isn't that right, Shannon? We are? <laughs> I'm serious. I, I did not know this was the topic. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it. So we're, we're going we're gonna to wait for some of y'all to, to tune in. And uh, we are just kind of, for the most part, I know everybody's probably tired of talking about everything that's going on and let's not mention apparently you can't say anything about <laughs> you can't uh, you can't no wow about the c-word there are several of those not now. that c-word the, the other c-word oh word. well i did not know that yeah there apparently is violating terms and whatnot so we're just going to talk about uh I, I know there's been some people out there that have been getting a little anxious can you say the p word kind of cooped up indoors i don't know what what do you mm, no oh, yeah no 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 anyhow um i, I know there's the been si word will you stop it no <laughs> yeah so we're just going to talk about and kind of bounce ideas back and forth. Hey, you what you can do question. to... I'm not going to answer your question. <laughs> you sh with your question. Anyhow, we're going to talk about uh, things you can kind of do to stay positive and kind of kick that anxiety. Some some things that you can do. And then, in the meantime, until things get back to normal, some of the things that you can do to make your business even stronger once all the madness is over and get you back to being slammed if you're not slammed just yet some of the things <clears throat> they can put into place to actually ensure that your business becomes slammed and also we're here to commiserate because everything sucks we know yes so let's go ahead and roll this little intro and then uh, we'll put the camera on us shannon you ready to do this hi tom don't say it you <laughs> Welcome to our little program called Shop Talk, and I do know for those of you that are, are going to mention in the comment that I need to change my intro, I know this, I need to update it with some more recent video of what's going on in the shop, because obviously we got that uh, new Anatol press in here, and anyhow, yeah, we're just going to chat a little bit, you need me to fix that for you, Shannon? Oh, oh. You didn't bother fixing any of it. Dude, well, you're taking forever getting ready. I was not. Uh, yeah, you were. <laughs> that whole little TV show that has the thing, that was way too biased. Like, I, I think the way they conduct it. Anyways. Um, yeah, so, Shannon, do you, do you want to kick it off? What are some of the things that you do to... Uh, not be an anxious person. Yeah, you're, you're naturally anxious. Well, I am naturally anxious. So but... you would be a, a pro at kind of knowing how to kind of kick the uh, the anxiety. I balance things on Apollo's head. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, be sure to go over and follow us on Instagram. It's Mikey Design Silkscreen. And occasionally we post goofy stuff so I, I posted that video which one of the the chicken pot pie on his head ah that's a boring one the cheeseburger and hot dog are better yeah i posted that one too i didn't really get a whole lot of uh response no, need, on that we one we need but... a whole different channel just to things i post on oh, my oh uh, i agree things i put on my dog's head did you put the but, did you put the one about the, his toy on his head no not yet he's a circus i, I can point. only i can only social media so much during the day while getting other stuff done so there's something you could do uh just keeping your mind busy really shannon likes to draw there's her lovely piece of art back there behind her which you can see hold on it's not even in camera view just chill out there shannon it'll be all right <laughs> it, trust me it's uh it's not in there Anyhow, Shannon's got her art project going on. 
there's other things you can do that will kind of keep your mind busy. Y'all see that right there? <laughs> what? <laughs> But there, there's other things you can do um, that will not only benefit you as a person, but your your business. And it, I would say, if, if you're kind of in that that state of mind where you're kind of feeling anxious, do whatever is going to make you happy, anyways, regardless if it has anything to do with your business. Take frequent breaks. Take a walk outside. Even though I know they're saying stay inside, but. I don't think there's anything wrong with going out You're and getting a little sunshine. Go go in your backyard. Go check the mill. Walk your dog. I think that definitely helps. When this whole Harvey thing was going down, and uh, I mean, honestly, Shannon and I, we don't really go out a whole lot. Occasionally, we might go to dinner. And since we stopped doing like the whole Monday margarita thing, we By the hardly, way, they deliver though now, so I'm thinking yeah. I'm gonna get some delivered tonight. But yeah, I mean we don't really go out anyways. However, when Harvey hit, we were stuck inside for a few weeks, and it it made me pretty anxious. I, I tried to stay as busy as I could, like I was writing music, uh, also working on the website, just kind of bouncing back and forth between things. Shannon did a lot of reading and sleeping i like both of those things very much yeah you do hold on i'm gonna fix your microphone but what are some of the things that um you recall that helped because i um, i was on i remember i did a lot of market research and i was doing it off my ipad while you you did a lot of music but uh which was really helping you with your anxiety part um, just so that you weren't getting stir crazy, but I think that's actually about the time you kind of went serious with the YouTube about when you got like really serious with your website, you spent a lot of time on that and you spent a lot of time on YouTube and then you played music and inserted my cat's meow into a song. I did. I was getting funky with it, which by the way, I mean, that's something I don't know. I, I personally try to, there's a, a lot of things that I do want to do. Music is, is one of them and I'm going to try and incorporate that this year. Uh, instead of relying on royalty free stuff, just have my own stuff up there. But it is when like, you say guys for can't instance, see this, but the dog, the dog is chewing on his hand right now. Yeah. One of the things I did work on was, and it, it took me probably about a year before I eventually got around to doing this, kind of setting all this stuff up, looking at tutorials and whatnot on, on YouTube to figure out how to live stream. Because I remember watching Cam stuff, and I was like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And then kind of took a little bits and pieces from, from him and then other uh, people that live stream, just kind of how they did things. So that kept... It kept me pretty busy and the website was probably a three month long ordeal. But I mean, I didn't work on it every day. I'd, I'd say I'd get in a little bit of a, a groove and I'd work on it till three or four in the morning. Yeah, how was that? Awesome, have you seen the website? Actually, I need to redo it now. <laughs> you do. Okay, so I at least I'm wanna update like, the front say page. some highs. Yeah, let's go over to the the chat. I haven't thought about it just yet, but yeah. go ahead and if you you start reading some of them off while I pull it up like on right the right in my eyeball. That's where your microphone's supposed to be, right in the eyeball. It's giving me a headache. Anyways, hi Tom, Cheryl, hi. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Cheryl? Hey, Edmund. George Lopez Designs. Tell us a joke. Oh, uh, Shannon's got the jokes. I have no jokes anymore. <laughs> lies. These are Damn, all lies. Hey, Jennifer Woods, I'm assuming Landon, or maybe Jennifer. I don't know. Could be either one. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sanad, he says, now. nice art, Shannon. And then he goes, made you look. 
<laughs> thank you and yeah you did um cheryl because he made me flustered over it that's why i made you flustered over what hold on let me she get over why to the... i took it down oh but she i don't know she's a little i'd say insecure about her artwork she compares her stuff to everybody else and i tell her not to and that she does a great and she's like i'm not looking for compliments no i'm not my art blah, it sucks da 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 which is not true i think it's looking awesome i think you just um you would like to get things done faster yeah. than than you could i think that kind of upsets you but yeah it's not an art project that you work on every day so it's kind of like when I got in there, I was doing the, the whole modeling of uh, our potential, potential small house build. Yeah, we got to see what's going on with this economy after the fact. Is this freaking thing going to actually ruin my <laughs> new house? Should I keep, should Probably. I even like think about my garden? Uh, I, I hadn't thought about any of it with everything going on. I'm like, oh crap! Oh, Frick, you just depressed the hell out of me. No, oh, don't right. don't be oh! depressed. John O'Sullivan, hi from Ireland. Oh hey, how you doing? I'm a. Uh, I'm probably Irish. I'm four <laughs> percent. I I thought I was more French than uh, anything. Turns out I'm uh, only four percent and four percent Irish. So. Cheryl wishes someone delivered margaritas around here. You know what? Ooh, I didn't yep. think they actually would. Call around. Mm -hmm. Because. We we weren't gonna have time to cook at home, so I got. <laughs> so Paul has something to say. I think he does have something to say, but yeah, we uh, I hadn't had a drink in a long while, and, and had a drink that day, and can't say it tasted as good. Something just seemed different about it. Yeah, it was watered down to. Well, it wasn't stuff. watered down. To me, it tasted like. It didn't taste like a normal margarita. Like lime peel quite a bit like they I don't I don't know it's been a while since I've had a margarita so well then take my opinion on it because it hasn't been that long for me okay well maybe it just tasted weird out of the foam cup maybe okay and not in the setting um let's see we've got flex mckenzie b3 screen printing yo what's up b3 did you say hi to Cheryl Brown? I did, and hi. I answered a question. Hi, Cheryl. I, I hadn't. Uh, sorry, I'm just been working on the uh, the the back end of OBS, trying to get it all situated. Uh, Tom wants to know if since we got the new toy, we're staying put. Yep, I'm not going Ye through that again because yeah. I know for a Even fact he won't be there again for to help me move it. Re regardless of what goes on with the uh, economy, yeah, we're not. We had no plans. For oh, I thought he meant our... the shop. What about the shop? The new toy. Yeah, we're, he's AKA basically saying. Second... I don't care, really. I'm not going to really upset. It's not going to upset me. And See, it's not going to keep me up at night. I, I, I'm somewhat of a, a pro cheering people up because I have to deal with, with that, that kind of nonsense often and snap her out of it. And I'm not, I'm not going to get my... Just... Pump the brakes there for a second. It's not like it's not going to happen. We just have to be smart about how we move forward is all. You're going to do it Amish style. I am. Everybody's got to chip in and raise the barn. I am. A tiny house? Yeah. I'm telling you, there's all kinds of permits and the, the building materials. There's certain things I'm not going to be able to do. We have to have inspectors come out and make sure everything's the code. So basically, this is what we've been like debating about the entire time we're like cooped up, because we still have work to do. We had like three clients come in today, and they were like, "Okay," and we all did the elbow thing, and so we well, had we had to show up. Michelle though is quarantined. Yeah, um, she's well. One of her roommates isn't feeling well, and I was like, "Hey, did so? Did you he go to the doctor? He or she?" And she was like, no, they don't have insurance. We're like, well, you know, until we know whether it's just a common cold flu thing, um, you got to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle. And then I, our I do daughter want... 
I do want her to come in because I have a, a project for her that I, I want her to do. I, I got some lavalier microphones, some lapel mics, and we're going to work on a, a YouTube video that's essentially taking some art from scratch all the way to finished product. So, Well, that's news. <laughs> Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Remember I told you I wanted to do something along those lines. So I think it'd be great if she did it because I want her to like do her own little style. I'm not going to tell her to do anything in particular. And we'll film her doing that. We'll run off some shirts. And then what shirts we do run off, we can, um, you know, so that way we make sure Michelle stays employed. <laughs> I'm sure some of our... Subscribers yeah. would be more than happy to, to buy a t-shirt. We don't really ever, or I mean, we've done the occasional t-shirt here, t-shirt there kind of thing, but it's going to be like a full blown, you know, using all eight colors on the press and then, um, nine tags bagging. It'd be cool to do some him like, uh, or some tags like sewn in tags as well. Yeah. Oh, well, wow. shirt's 25 bucks a shirt. How, how what do you mean how i i can't so well you're gonna have to just tune in whenever the episode comes on <laughs> i'm so out of the loop yeah it's because these are the kind of things i i think about like all the time well michelle gets to know about them yeah because she's gonna be in the video i mean you'll be in there as well Ooh, we should have her run the machine too that'd be great you and Michelle can run the machine. It'll be a little fun little, little learning experience. Hi, Apollo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not really. Um, Anyways. So that's a video idea. And there I mean there's there's a bunch of other video ideas I have. Like the uh the progression of our, our shop from the time it was in the garage. Yeah, or you know, videos that I want to do. And I do have ideas. My idea. Anyways, okay. I thought that would make you happy, but you know, there's, there's just no, no putting a smile on your face sometimes. <laughs> I'm about to throw something at you. It's a pen. You told me not to do that to Panda. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, um. Kick it, Shannon. Kick it. Hi, Sin. Um, I can't get back. What's up, Sin? I can't get back. You can't. You can't get back to where you're at. No. Let's see. What was the last comment that you you recall? Ireland. Reading? Ireland. 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 Let's I think see. I actually Ireland. just accidentally Able. tried to block Tommy or sin don't go blocking them i don't want to i'm eight, sorry guys it was an accident eight ball imaging hey guys we are still here practicing go. on new techniques that's awesome to hear uh let's see sanad matt i have some s mesh screens and they are worth that. checking out they clear so much better than any other mesh i've used just fyi lol that's awesome i haven't tried any s mesh uh, I think what it's going to take really is when it comes time for us to remesh the screens that we do have, we have about five or six that's popped and then we're just going to, you know, make sure that we're not taking on any unnecessary expenses right now, but I'll definitely give it a try. Who did you get the, the screens from? I'm so what I'm wanting to do is actually buy the mesh and then bring my screens in and have them remesh so let me know who you got got the uh the mesh from and uh if you know if it's somebody we can get ours from here locally so definitely something i want to check out let's see what else we got in the the chat there shannon okay well john o'sullivan <laughs> four percent iris is good enough uh, you qualify. <laughs> Tom Mel says yes. Cheryl says we just got an emergency alert. Our state lockdown begins at midnight. Essential outings only. Um, what state are you in? Let us know in the chat. We're we're in Houston. For those of of you that don't know, and I mean they've talked about a lockdown and all that. 
But half but from the, what the grocery I, stores are still running. From what I understand is it's not going to happen. Just, you know, just stay at home kind of thing. And for us, we're up here more than we are at the house. And if we are on lockdown, uh, we'll, we'll lock it down here at the shop and continue to get our work done. My daughter has a cold and she coughed into my mouth to, uh, yesterday. <laughs> that was awesome. And yes, she does have a common cold. She's uh, been to the doctor. She's good. Kids just happened to bring home. So, uh, it wasn't even two weeks ago they brought home. It was, was it Mac? I don't know. They're, it, Madison wasn't feeling good. And then Scarlett is always this time of the year. No, I have but, a headache I can't get rid of. Yeah. Ibuprofen and all. I think you need to just drink some more water. Have you had some water lately? Yes. You have? Yeah. When? Like a, a like few glasses? Ago? Like a few glasses? I've had like one every couple hours. Pinch pinch the skin on your hand. Does it does it snap back? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, just make sure you're taking care Evidence. of Evidence. Oh, ooh, ooh, I don't know. That was No, this is me pulling that it. That was slow like quicksand. Is this me pulling it? There it uh, goes. Bam, ooh, snaps. I don't know. That's mm, a snap. Mm, That's a snap. Mm, no. Okay. All right. I'm going to feed you some more water today. And cut you off from the uh, adult beverages for evening. Yeah, that right there. I'm going to take your I don't you talk about this vodka and pour it out and put water in it. Shannon would probably like, man, I, I made this strong, uh, this drink weak. <laughs> it's not strong enough. Anyway, so we're going to go back to the chat. Yes, let's please do. All right, well, tell Cheryl, tell the kiddos I said good night and um, bedtime stories. Ooh, ooh, good bedtime stories. Dragons love tacos. The kids love that one. <laughs> Especially Mac. Oh. I think Scarlett's kind of grown into it more now. Yeah, well, he he's more into video games now. Yeah, getting turd. him to read is pulling teeth. He's lost his two front teeth, and he thinks he's a an adult, and knows everything. Oh yeah, it's including about it. including the vo vocabulary that adults are allowed to use, which was a fun conversation that several adult family members had to have with him, including myself and Matt and his aunt and his uncle. Yeah, the, okay, the kids anyways. have been getting snappy with their response. What? Don't you what me? What are you talking about? You kind of take it. I'm the one that just pops up. That's yes, sir. <laughs> no. If I'm busy doing something and, and I don't, and I just hear the tail end of them wanting something, then I'm like, okay. But no, no, she, uh, Scarlett is like, they, they were kind of being cheeky. They were very cheeky this, this past weekend. Anyhow, uh, let's let's check out some more of the okay, comments um, and then we'll move into Nick. How is there? Aloha, <gasps> Hawaii. How are things going on that side of the? Uh, I'm not even gonna say pond, the ocean. How are, how are things in the Pacific? Hopefully, everything's going well. Is it quiet? <laughs> What are you thinking about? <laughs> what, what is it with you and your... Normally, it's hard to, to like, really... Shut me up. Your pauses make me worry. Like, what? who are you plotting on right now? No, I'm just... I have a headache. Mm. That's all. Okay. Um, Steve's channel... Mm. Steve's channel says... Uh, Vent tease. Enjoy your uh, videos. First time watching your live cast. What's up, Steve's channel? Um, yeah, thanks Matt, for tuning in. Matt, did you start out screen printing first or doing artwork first? Curious how you got started in the biz. Artwork first. Yes, Shannon Shannon has it. Um, got started in graphic design first. I went to the, the Art Institute. Bless you. Got my associate's degree at the time and just started working in graphic design. And worked for the same company for 14 years. And... That whole time I had started freelancing. 
as a graphic designer. As a matter of a fact, Micah Designs is something I came up with just kind of jokingly. You done it over here, Paulo? Uh, just kind of jokingly as a, a little business name. And I purchased that, I think, like back in 2004 maybe 2003 it's probably 2004 and freelance and eventually i got tired of sitting behind the computer um the kind of person that likes to to make things with my hands and t-shirts just seem like a really easy art form to sell because when someone says oh you're a graphic designer what does that mean I, i'm i'm a commercial artist i'm just an artist basically um you know, I'm not a fine artist. The difference between commercial and fine art is fine art. You're drawing whatever you feel like, and then people buy your piece of art. I just involuntarily look down. Yeah, see, there you go. And then, you know, obviously the the flop side of that, someone's paying you to create something for them. So, yeah, I, I was broke really, and I had gone through a divorce and was looking for a way to make some sort of side income because I always had my regular job, my freelance job. And then I, I played music quite a bit as well. And, and after my divorce, I just kind of needed to lower my, my stress levels. So I just, uh, I stopped freelancing. Uh, music wasn't really going all that well, just with the change in the industry from people wanting to hear live rock and roll to DJs and thanks for high beats. Um, that kind of thing, <laughs> like, honestly, it, it changed pretty quick from Fridays and Saturdays being nights that they paid bands good money to here's people really want to hear a DJ and, you know, they're paying them a few hundred bucks versus a band that would get like $1,200 a night kind of thing. So that, that led me into wanting to make some side money and I, I ended up making my own press and doing pre-sales and all that. Uh, I'll eventually get up a video that is kind of really going into uh, I, some of the, the pictures that I have when I started out and all that. And it, it'll be helpful for those of you that are just starting out. Uh, a little bit of a guide, if you will, as to how we got uh, where we're at. So, I just wandered into it. I went yeah, on a Shannon, date. Shannon... Uh, found the business on match.com and showed up and <laughs> I forced her to work because she was going to try and sleep all day. I'm like, oh, hell no. You, you're you going to learn this. You're going to learn that. that or Lamborghinis. Oh, yeah. It's either that or Lamborghinis. I, I think you have well, it pretty it easy. I do have it. I have it so much I, You know what? I think you should call them up. I don't know whether. Am we I gonna, getting fired? I don't know whether we can afford you anymore. Yeah, Am is, I being fired? Miss, like online? Miss like, Lamborghini. <laughs> guys, he's firing me on live. Well, there's a, a new position that's opening up. Oh my god, I'm getting fired. Online. Someone that, that really knows how to uh <gasps> answer a phone call and not eat all the food in the fridge. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> that uh doesn't require as much uh anyways. No, you're not fired. What, what 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 do I not require? What what did somebody not require? As much gasoline. Um, <laughs> we'll just call it gasoline, man. Because you're I have your an engine. Travel right? expenses. The shop gnome has an engine. Okay. I think your your gasoline costs more than the. Oh fuel my god! Yeah, you're so judgmental now. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just messing with you. <laughs> This Anyways, oh my time. god, I'm actually like sweating a little. <laughs> sweated. <laughs> okay. You um, can keep your job for now. You know, all, all depending on what the economy is doing. <laughs> no, we actually, I mean, in all honesty, guys, like uh, we're we're doing fine over here. The 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 phones have been more quiet, right, Shannon? Oh my god, I haven't. I haven't had to deal with a digitizer phone call in probably four days. Yeah, I, I'd say if anything, really, the people that have been calling have been our, our clients, which is awesome. Uh, but it, it's still, I'd, I'd say like new inquiries, I, I'd have to say. 
new inquiries, new emails. There, well, there's been some new stuff. Uh, yeah, we're, via we're, gonna, YouTube. we're gonna make we're gonna make do. It's it'll be fine. Uh, I'm we'll not have worried enough, about but, it. Well, like the thing is, though, I'm just a little disappointed because, and I was even talking to um, one of our clients today. I'm not gonna name him, mm-hmm. but um, oh, so we know it's a him. Okay, <laughs> that narrows down what. Anyways, I don't know. But he he was uh, talking to us, and he I don't know, he was I was like, "How are you doing? How are you guys doing?" Because he outsources to us, and we outsource to him. And I was asking him how he's doing. He's like, "We got stuff on the floor." I was like, "Yeah, I know, but is it? It's a lot different than last year at this time of the month, isn't it?" And he goes, "Yeah." <laughs> and then he but we just got stuff laughing. on the floor. Speaking speaking of um, how business is going, so obviously, you know, a lot of what we do kind of revolves around people getting together, events going on, businesses not being shut down, bars being open, restaurants and all that. We had a, a client come in, so we, we did uh, some work for this particular client that came in and were very interested in getting some apparel for their company. He's like, okay, our projects it's actually right there. have been put on hold or, or postponed is what they said. So it's like not completely off the table. Uh, that, that meeting coming in, I was like, oh, okay. Because, I mean, I think chances are they probably still will move forward with an order, just not oh, as they, big they of an order. Oh, they definitely will. Right. I mean, but it's they're just, facing... They're everybody. They're they're facing layoffs at at the moment because they have a pretty sizable crew that works for the company. It's yeah. it's construction, so. Um, but I mean, aside from that, like our, I'd say for us, the the calendar isn't filling up as fast. It's almost like when it's like Harvey, like like when Christmas and all that. Yeah, it reminds me was of going Harvey. On. Yeah, and then as soon as all this madness is gone. Like Ew. we're, I I personally don't mind it all that much because it is kind of extending our slow season a little bit. More because when things. when we get into our our busy season, then it's just like go 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 go. I'm gonna go yeah. back to the chat. Hey, let's talk about some things that. Um, or not. We'll go to the chat, but for those that are new and haven't particularly haven't heard our our spill on some of the things we've worked on over time to get to the point where we're at, uh, marketing wise, you know, just, and I'll, I'll make it, it short, you know, just have a website, look into search engine optimization. There's plenty of videos on YouTube and videos on how to build a website. Make sure you have, you know, you're hitting up your social media accounts, telling anybody you know that you're you're printing shirts. And guys, use this time. Use this time. Yeah. Don't freak out. Look at it as potential. Yeah, it, it gives you a chance to kind of strengthen some of the areas in your business and it's what i'm doing as well don't get me wrong like we're we're still printing orders and whatnot but there's a product that i'm working on i'm not going to say what it is just yet that will be very helpful to you guys and will save you a lot of money instead of using uh other softwares and it's not a a shop management software i'm just going to put that out there before people start guessing uh Anyhow, so that's something I've been working on. Always, always working on YouTube videos as well. And then, you know, your your Google business listing. List your business on as many directories that will point towards your, your business as well. There's plenty of them out there. Uh, do a search for business directory listings. Places you can go to. There's, there's certain sites that will um, have a list of some of the good ones to get on. And by doing so, it'll help boost your, your website ranking. Post as often as you can to your website. Like I was telling Shannon, um, I think it's time for me to redesign the homepage at least. Toss up some 
I've been kind of slacking on the blogs, me personally, and Matt and uh, I have portfolio about the blogs pieces because I don't want to do blogs. What don't What don't you like about doing blogs? You like you're you did so well. I'm not a good writer. I don't like it. I'm yeah, not you a, are. I'm not a writer. Bull. Anytime someone sends you an email message, it's like your life story, and I'm like, why is the email so long? Me, I'm just like, I'll keep it to one, two, three sentences at the most. And I see yours. Yours are like three paragraphs. <laughs> That's when people are asking for advice and stuff. Or when mm, I'm dealing with a scammer. No, not necessarily. Scammers are my favorite part of the day. See, that is such creative writing right there. Put that energy to a blog or something. You guys should read some of my... like When they get the scammer emails, I'll put together like an entire story. It'll be like, I, I am... Yeah, this actually does happen. I will send them back things like, I am sorry, but we are out of all the blank gildens because right now we we are in a war with another printing shop and we are currently surrounding them and launching the gildan, all the white gildan blanks that we have soaked in kitty pee through trebuchets. They're holding out and they're putting a good fight up, but we'll take them eventually. Or, 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 I'm sorry, we can't get the Fruit of the Loom and the Gildan because the CEO's daughter of Gildan has fallen in love with the, uh, with the son of the second cousin, the one with the lazy eye of the Fruit of the Loom, and naturally it's caused like this huge big deal and they're going to perform a jazz dance off. <laughs> <laughs> and your your problem with writing a blog is why? I, I, <laughs> really? All you need is three hundred words and a keyword. Jeez. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. I'm so sweating. <laughs> anyway, can we talk yes, about the blog? Yes, I I would like you to, to get back after that, please. Oh yeah, we're gonna. And instead of. Doing whatever it is you do over there, the the games and all that crap. I don't do the games. I I do not play. One a month. One a month. That's all I'm asking. One a month. Can we start out with one a month? Well, we're going to have to figure something else out then. Why? Because I'm not the new newbie that I was basing the whole thing off of well, and anyways can matter. i can i go to the chat we have questions we do have questions um so yeah there's some things that you can do to um kind of strengthen your your business during these um crazy unknown times these uncertain actually though, times. the romeo and juliet thing did get me a compliment back from the scammer so but i've also gotten death threats back from them so <laughs> Anyways, this is this is true. That, that's why I'm saying you need to leave them people alone. You don't know what they're capable of. They're already oh, trying I'm, to steal I'm people's fun money. With them. They're the best part of my day. Uh, okay, so Nick, how's there? Um, are you guys have any canceled jobs due to all that's going on? How are you dealing with it? We have one postponed, possibly two. Theoretically, <laughs> possibly two. What 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 other one is? The new client that just came in. Oh yeah. And then our, our one of our larger clients has postponed getting some embroidery for some shirts. <laughs> Tommy. Uh, uh, aside from I'm that, I'm getting text messages from Tommy. <laughs> oh, what what do you say? First off, is LMAFO. <laughs> oh, um, hold up for a second there, Shannon. But okay, I mean, for the most part, there hasn't been a whole lot that's been postponed, and for us, because we just got the the Anatol in, uh, we've been playing catch up with our work. And once we're, I guess once we're, we got everything knocked out, there's, there's a lot of stuff in, in the works. There's contract screen printing stuff. Uh, that's something you might want to look into as well. Uh, for us, that just kind of helps fill the gaps. You're not making the, the markup and all that stuff that you would with a, a walk-in client but however you're not dealing with them either you're just you're taking the order and no, then but you gotta be very very 
ad- adamant about the fact that they have to provide the shirts, they have to provide the mock-up, they have to provide the art. But when you, you have a client that understands all that, then it just becomes easy yeah. peasy and they start And that's you that's stuff. one of the ones that we have just eased into lately. And right. one of the best p- things that he said to me was... He's so easy going to. Oh, he really is. And he just said, yeah. if I overload you, just tell me and I'll start moving some of it somewhere else. And I was just like, you're going to overload us. I love you so much. <laughs> please overload us. <laughs> please, please, please. If if that is the case, then, um, you know, I'm, we're trying to get back to where we're at this past summer with... Uh, having Michelle here every day as much as she wanted to be here, plus uh, additional help. Oh, she wants to be here. Yeah. But, you know, how we had uh, additional help as well. We had Panda, and then when he... Uh, we He needed something full-time, so we... Because he had his baby. That, too. Yeah, Wait, now he's a stay-at-home dad, him. isn't he? They're both stay-at-home parents right now. She's a school teacher. Oh, I talked to him Saturday we for an hour. Him. You talked to him for an hour? Yeah, when I went to go pick Madison up. When I went to go pick our, our daughter up. He loves you more than me. No, he doesn't. He called while last Monday while the live was going on. So, But yes, he does love me more than you. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Tommy, Sin, I promise uh, I wasn't trying to block you. Um, Sin wants to know <coughs> if uh, when we're doing the remesh, um, can she come over and bring hers too? Only Who? if you're going to GSG, I guess. Who says that? Sin. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing it here. You're more than welcome to bring it over, but I'm just going we'll to, all go to we'll have the a, GSG. We'll, we'll have a um, field trip to GSG together. You know, I do have something that I want to do. With someone like yourself, then, uh, Juan, um, whomever I can get to the shop, I have a, a little bit of a, a show segment that I want to do. I think I've talked about it with Shannon before. Yeah, I'll tell you about it off air. It's that way um, no one takes my idea. Okay. Um, it, it involves... Uh, um, Alex, thank anyways. you. Well, I'll, I'll write it down on some paper and toss it over to you all right well um uh sanad says it has some stuff about the screens about s mesh no uh not the screens excuse me um the spot color supply in atlanta they're not too expensive 29 oh okay thanks man i appreciate that oh sin has a five pan curfew you have a curfew jesus christ (laughs) <laughs> who's this firing off all these questions what are your thoughts on Chuck E. Cheese love it we take the kids there often what are your thoughts on Garfield the cat and better better before it became animated um, it, it was something I liked when I was a kid, a kid but uh, not too fond of it these days the kids love it um, yes I am subscribed to PewDiePie thank you very much favorite childhood cartoon the cartoons I drew that's all. What about me? <laughs> Do I get to answer that? Yeah, one? go for it. Sailor Moon. Is, is that the only thing you wanted the, the answer to? Are you subscribed to PewDiePie? Shannon? I'm not subscribed to anything. Are you subscribed to? I the don't even have an account. And do you watch his videos as an un- unsubscribed? Only out of the co- only out of the corner you. of my eye when you're watching them. Yeah. But I did like that music thing that he did. Congratulations. Um, I would say that uh, it it's fun entertainment at times it's a little he's cute too it's a little more geared towards someone that's younger than me i like i i liked that when he was doing thing when he was like living in japan and he had those headphones with the kitty cat ears oh he wears those like he wears those often well i don't see you watching him often but no, i like the ki- i lately. like the kitty cat headphones i want a pair <gasps> i want a pair of kitty cat headphones well you better pump the brakes on that we're just going to have to hold off on those kitty cat headphones. Yeah. Necessities only, Shannon. By the way, if anyone wants to pay for a group on two double tickets, to, uh, two tickets to Jamaica, I would 
love you guys. Would you stop apparently, doing no, that? No, apparently we're not going to be able to do it now. So I want to go to Jamaica. You, if anyone wants to like send us two tickets to a Jamaica like all inclusive you th- thing, you think every every. Everybody else out there is going to be like, oh, yeah, let me buy you some tickets to Jamaica right now. I am just throwing it out there. <laughs> Ignore Shannon. Um, if Please you want don't. to support the channel, like our videos, like this video, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, and go over and follow us on Instagram, like, like our Facebook page. Keep watching our videos. That sounds like an ending. Thank you. <laughs> It's not an ending. I was really, before this whole thing happened, I was really hoping I was going to be able to talk him into a, um, a vacation to Jamaica, all expenses paid. It's like 500 you, something about You a really person. do know, no. Ooh, vacation to Jamaica. That's uh, what I, this, every time I turn around, that. I go, ooh, vacation in Jamaica. Yeah? That's pretty much the only thing every, I say. You're, you're like planning vacations, and I'm just like, I really kind of don't, my vacation, I would like to just do nothing. Like, vacations are kind of stressful. Remember when we came back from Florida? It was like, we were just completely, I was in the we were passenger, still stressed. I, I was, no, I was in the yeah. passenger seat. You yeah. were stressed. Yeah, I'm driving. You were I'm driving. You will be stuff. driving the plane. An airplane makes me stressed. Going out of the country makes me stress. I hadn't been out of the country. I, I like my own little bubble. Uh, uh, just over here in H. Tizzle. I take that back. I do like to travel. I just... The, the point was is... Stop... It for now, until I give you the green light, stop finding all these vacations and... Stuff. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to take it a little, a little easy. Unless somebody gifts us one. You can go. I'm staying here. <laughs> I will pack you in the friggin' suitcase if <laughs> you, I have to. You and Michelle can go. I don't want to go with Michelle. I want to go oh, with you. Oh, y'all can, y'all can bro it out. Anyways, okay. Get so, y'all's little romance channel. on. Um, <laughs> okay, we went through that one. What did we go through? All right, Sanad, we don't actually stretch our own screens, so can't answer that. Um, Tommy. 15 to 20 news. Still working. I don't even know what the, the question was. Adult water, uh, adult beverages contain water. <laughs> Not if you're me. <laughs> hey, Jim. Um, Jurassic. Long time no talk. Hi, Gavin. Yeah, what's up, Jurassic? How's uh, how's things going over there? Going at the Jurassic. And Alex fence. says we're very. Alex had a lot of compliments, but I'm not gonna try to lose myself finding them again. Sorry about that. Where okay, these are the things. What are your thoughts on Chuck E. Cheese? Terrible pizza. We already did that. Well, I didn't get to give my answers. Oh, okay, go for it. Terrible pizza, easy way to entertain the kids. Ends up in horrible misery by the end of the night because you're dragging them out because they don't want to leave. Those are my thoughts. Also, the mouse is scary. Uh, Garfield the bit. cat. Um, better before he was computer animated. Favorite. The PewDiePie thing. We already covered that. We talked about. Favorite childhood co- child cartoon. Covered that. Sailor Moon. Woo! I don't think I said anything. But that's all right. I didn't. I watched a lot of cartoons. There was too many to list anyways. Alex. <laughs> X, V, Z, 3. There we go. Huh? I'm sorry. There was a lot of, like, crossings in there. <laughs> uh, hello from Mexico. Hola? Tom, Tom's actually got a, a good point here. Um, some things that y'all can do as well that I've seen other shops doing that will also kind of just kind of squash people being either scared or timid about ordering shirts right now. Like Tom mentioned... Uh, Post that you you mail and ship in your area, essentially. And I mean, if you can, you know, let them know somehow that you're taking precautions by wearing gloves. Uh, Printavo has a pretty good article um, that mentions the fact that um, the virus, if 
you know, there is any potential of there being a virus in your shop that the heat going through the, the dryer. Are to say virus? Yeah, whatever. I don't, I just think we're not allowed to say the, the, the C word. Anyways, um, yeah, so the, the heat kills the, uh, the germs and all that. And if, you know, if you're wearing gloves and whatnot, I mean, everything will be good. I'm banking off that, guys. <clears throat> it's, I know everyone kind of takes it sort of, um, Are you okay? Um, <laughs> what are you getting they, choked they, up they, about? They, they take it like it, it doesn't affect them, but um, my my grandfather passed away last Friday because of it. So you guys just be careful, be safe, and just know that even if you don't get really sick it will affect somebody yes do stay inside don't uh leave if you don't have to and uh you know just try and keep yourself busy because it is a pretty serious thing and i don't i know we we've talked about it on and off and i didn't want to make this whole um episode Thank about you. it although things that that we you know there's things you can be doing while while business is kind of in this little bit of a funk so we are are do you still want to do more shannon you yeah are you I'm okay fine. I'm, I'm fine I'm i fine. know that you're still dealing I'm fine. with uh I'm fine. I'm fine. your grandfather passing and everything but but it's just it, it's an ex- no it's fine it's just it's an example of why even if it's not going to affect you to the scary places that other people will be affected by, just keep in mind that those people have families that are going to be hurt when, if those people very susceptible are touched by it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, definitely. So... You know, just play it safe. Play it yeah. safe, guys, and um, stay <laughs> stay in one place. <laughs> Don't go out a whole bunch. Well, I think we should go ahead and wrap it up. I am hungry. I don't want to leave it on that note, though. You don't want to leave? Well, tell a, give us a joke to, to leave out on. Because it I is, only have that stupid eight. 100 thing. <laughs> no, I've told you some, too, yeah. as well. You don't remember the, the joke I told you? Mm. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to leave it on me like just sitting here crying. Uh, okay, so. well then turn it around. <laughs> I know it's I know it's been tough and well, everything. But, yeah. Okay, let's find a joke. Um Yes. A guy walks into a bar. He orders ten shots. And he just starts drinking them as fast as he can. Like, bam, 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 bam. And the bartender goes, why are you drinking those so so fast? And the man looks at the bartender and goes, if you had what I had, you'd be drinking them this fast too. Well, what do you have? Two quarters. (laughs) Well, we're going to end it there on a little bit of a a funny end. Just uh, we hope everybody stays well and do what you can to, to stay busy. I hope some of this has helped <clears throat> help you guys out there uh, get some ideas. I know we didn't like do a super deep dive. We we really kind of wanted to the chat with you guys as well. Yeah, to and sorry we haven't gotten only, to nearly enough of the chat, and we are sorry yeah. for that. But we, you know, we like to keep things light around here, even with uh, everything that's that's going on. But just know that uh, we're we're hanging in there. We hope y'all hang in there, and you know, things will will get back to normal soon, and everybody will will be thriving pretty well. So we're we're looking forward to everything to come, and also, you know, check back with our channel regularly because I'll be uploading videos of different topics got some things in the work like i mentioned got some uh software so to speak coming up 
and uh, yeah, we we've got uh, a lot of ideas we want to put out there, but we also have work to do as well. So we uh, we filmed them. We're busy. We uh, <laughs> well, we appreciate y'all tuning in. We are going to get out of here. I am hungry for one. Um, when I say get out of here, there's there's some more work that we're gonna get to. I was actually setting something else. And we're gonna have margaritas delivered. Uh, I don't know, but well, you can have one. I don't. I'll have a margarita cool. delivered in a taco. There you go. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos. You know, support our channel by liking our videos and just watching them. And we appreciate everybody tuning in. We'll see you next Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, Shannon, you got anything to say? Love you guys, hearts, right, and guys, happy we'll... things. Bunnies give kisses. <laughs> we'll, we'll see y'all next time.